my dear students today we are going to study the sulfuric acid that is also known as the oil of vitriol so firstly we will have to know what is called as the oil of vitriol uh, since uh, at first time initially it was prepared from the from using the green vitriol you can see the formula of the green vitriol here therefore it is called as the oil of vitriol okay now you can see the reaction here uh, if we are doing the distillation of the green vitriol then we will be having the mixture of the so3 and h2o and you know when we combine the sulfur the sulfur trioxide with water so we are having the sulfuric acid okay so you can see the reaction below here in which you can see the molecule of the sulfuric acid also okay so here you can see uh, green vitriol that is feso 4.7 h2o get distillated uh, to form the ferric oxide sulfur dioxide sulfuric acid and three molecules of the water okay so you can uh, use both the reactions uh, here to represent the uh, formation of the sulfuric acid using the green vitriol okay now if i talk about the occurrence of the sulfuric acid in the nature then uh, it is found in the hot spring in a very less amount that is traces traces of the sulfuric acid are found in the uh, hot spring and some amount of uh, sulfuric acid is prepared in the hydrolysis of the iron pyr pyrite you know the iron pyrite is the uh, ore of the iron okay so uh, during the metallurgy of the iron some amount of the sulfuric acid is formed okay now if i talk about the combined state of the sulfuric acid so it is formed in so it is uh, found in the form of uh, metallic sulfates such as sodium sulfate uh, iron sulfate potassium sulfate etc okay now now uh, if i talk about the general method of the preparation of the sulfuric acid so actually we are having four methods we are having the four methods for the uh, general preparation of the sulfuric acid if i talk uh, so uh, in previous classes that is in the nitric acid you must study that the nitric acid uh, oxidize the sulfur into the sulfuric acid so here you can see that sulfur is going to be oxidized into the sulfuric acid with the help of the nitric acid okay so you can use the reaction here now the second second method is there by passing of the chlorine into the aqueous solution of sulfur dioxide here you can see the mixture of the uh, so2 and water so if i pass the chlorine gas into this mixture so we will be having the sulfuric acid now coming to the third method for the preparation of the sulfuric acid so here you can see if i dissolve the sulfur trioxide in the, into the water so we will be having the sulfuric acid and the last last method for the general pressure is there by the hydrolysis of the sulfuryl chloride by the hydrolysis of the sulfuryl chloride here you can see the formula of the sulfuryl chloride that is the so2 and cl2 okay so you must learn this formula of the sulfuryl chloride okay that is uh, so2 cl2 so by the hydrolysis of the so2 cl2 you can obtain the sulfuric acid and the hydrochloric acid okay so these are some general method for the preparation of the sulfuric acid okay these are four okay and uh, you must uh, practice the chemical reactions involved in these four methods okay now the next method for the preparation is their uh, preparation of the sulfuric acid by contact process actually contact process is the method used in industry that is we can say this is the industrial method for the preparation of the sulfuric acid okay and this is uh, very important for the uh, your board examinations okay so must so you must prepare this uh, contact process for the preparation of the sulfuric acid okay firstly we will be uh, we will be go through uh, different steps involved involved in this method so firstly you can see here we are having the production of sulfur dioxide then purification of the sulfur dioxide and oxygen and the third is catalytic oxidation of so2 into so3 fourth is absorption of so3 into the water and fifth is dilution actually the fourth method is to be corrected this should be absorption of so3 into the concentrated sulfuric acid make it correct okay this should be concentrated sulfuric acid because self concentrated sulfuric acid and sulfur trioxide combine with each, with each other to form the oleum okay so instead of water you will have to write the concentrated h2so4 so make it correct 
okay now moving forward so these are the five uh, steps involved we will be having a detailed uh, discussion based on these five methods okay so let's proceed so firstly we are having the production of the sulfur dioxide so here how the sulfur dioxide can be produced okay so we are having two uh, methods to produce the sulfur dioxide okay one is burning of the sulfur and another is burning of the fes2 that is the iron pyrite okay and what is iron pyrite iron pyrite is the uh, ore of the iron you know okay so firstly uh, we can see the reaction of the when sulfur get combined with oxygen to form the sulfur dioxide okay so sulfur burns with pale blue flame here you can see sulfur will burn with the pale blue flame to form sulfur dioxide and some very small amount of the sulfur trioxide will also be formed okay and fes2 will also be will also combine with oxygen to form what fe2o3 and sulfur dioxide okay so these are the methods to produce the sulfur dioxide here okay and uh, uh, oxygen is taken as air but uh, it is preferred to take the pure oxygen instead of the air because if you are taking the air so a large amount of the energy will be wasted to uh, heat the unreactive nitrogen component of the air okay na but if you are taking the pure oxygen so you will be having uh, no wastage of the energy okay so we must take the um, pure purified oxygen that is the pure oxygen instead of the air okay now coming to the so this was the first step that is the production of the sulfur dioxide now if i come to the second step so it is what it is the purification of mixture of so2 and o2 now we have prepared the sulfur dioxide and going to proceed further and in this step we will be having the purification of this mixture so here actually there are a lots of uh, uh, methods a lots of steps involved in this category involved in this step so we will be having the uh, one by one discussion with all these steps okay so firstly what is the need for the purification of this mixture so you can see here we must uh, there must be some impurities Uh, such as the pyrite dust you know arsenic oxide you know dust particles these impurities are there if you will not remove these impurities from uh, your mixture so they will uh, uh, they, they will poison the catalyst and they will decrease the efficiency of the catalysts therefore you, we must uh, remove these impurities present in the mixture before the um, further uh, process okay so in this process we are having some uh, different towers firstly we are having what dusting tower okay so let us see what is there in the dusting tower okay so in dusting tower you can see here downward blow of the steam removes the dust particle means in this tower uh, downward blow of the steam is going on in which dust is removed dust can be removed okay so uh, and this so this was the first tower that was that is called the dusting tower and the second is scrubbing tower here you can see downward spray of the water okay in scrubbing tower we are having the downward spray of the water and the downward spray of the water will remove the further impurities present uh, in the form of the dust particles okay now coming to the next step we are having the drying tower so in in this drying tower we will be having a drying agent so of course we are use, using the concentrated sulfuric acid as a drying agent in this drying tower to to remove the moisture then we are having what arsenic purifier okay in this arsenic purifier we will be having what ferric hydroxide and the mixture of gases will be passed over ferric hydroxide therefore the arsenic impurities that is arsenic oxide will be will be removed in this tower okay now the next is their testing box in this text test uh, in this testing box we will be having you know a use of the light we will pass the light in a darkened box okay 
दे विल पास द लाइट इन अ डार्क एंड बॉक्स बाय पासिंग द लाइट इन द डार्क एंड बॉक्स वी कैन फाइंड आउट वी कैन वी कैन नो द क्वालिटी ऑफ द एयर क्वालिटी ऑफ गैसेस गोइंग इनसाइड द नेक्स्ट चैम्बर दैट इज द कैटलिटिक चैम्बर ओके ना सो दिस वॉज द purification of mixture of so2 and o2 in this uh, in this uh, step you you have seen that different steps are involved so you must learn these steps one by one okay and go through clearly with all these steps okay so this was the second step now come to the uh, third step actually uh, um, this is second and this is third so you must correct this you know this number this will be third step not second okay so coming to the catalytic oxidation of so2 into so3 catalytic oxidation of so2 into so3 okay so what will be there you can see here that you can see here that we are having what is sulfur dioxide it react with oxygen in the presence of vanadium pentoxide vanadium pentoxide is the uh, catalyst being used here and the temperature will be you can see here 450 to 500 degrees celsius and the pressure is 1 to 2 atm so in these conditions the sulfur trioxide will be formed with a release of large amount of energy so this is exothermic reaction in which large amount of energy is released when sulfur dioxide is being converted into the sulfur trioxide okay so there are some points related to this step you must uh, go through these points so uh, now come to the first point okay first point is there heating is required at initial stage only because you know the uh, reaction is uh, uh, exothermic uh, so firstly at initial stage heating is required after some time uh, uh, the mixture will be heated by using the heat of the reaction so you will not uh, require any type of the heating after some time second is there v2o5 is preferred over the platinized asbestos okay over the platinized asbestos you can see the formula of uh, asbestos is actually there are different types of asbestos this is the one type of the uh, asbestos okay so uh, we are using what v2o5 you know over the platinized asbestos because what because it is cheaper what is cheaper v2o5 is cheaper and not easily poisoned by the impurities if you are going to use the platinized asbestos it will get poisoned by impurities easily therefore we use the v2o5 instead of the platinized asbestos okay then the next point is that 98% so2 is converted into sulfur trioxide 98% is a very good yield if i talk about that so this is a very good yield and then optimum temperature is preferred optimum temperature will be preferred because uh, as per the lee chatelier's principle uh, if you uh, have studied about the lee chatelier's principle in previous classes then according to this principle in the exothermic reactions we need not more temperature okay so we need optimum temperature in this reaction and if we are using the low temperature that is 100 degree celsius or in negatives so the reaction will be very slow and if we are using large high temperature so again reaction will be slow because the reaction is exothermic therefore we have to use the optimum level of the temperature that is 450 degree celsius to 500 degree celsius okay and pressure should also be high okay to get the maximum yield okay so in this in this uh, case during the catalytic uh, conversion of the so2 into so3 we sh we must have the optimum temperature and the high pressure okay so the temperature is maintained at 450 uh, 450 to 500 degrees celsius and the pressure is maintained from what one atmosphere to two atmosphere okay now now coming to the next step 
ओके एब्जॉर्बन ऑफ द एस ओ थ्री इन टू कॉन्सेंट्रेटेड सल्फ्यूरिक एसिड ओके ना इन दिस स्टेप द एस ओ थ्री इज एब्जॉर्ब इन टू द कॉन्सेंट्रेटेड सल्फ्यूरिक एसिड ओके सो वेन एवर वी आर गोइंग टू एब्जॉर्ब द सल्फरसॉइल ऑक्साइड इन द कॉन्सेंट्रेटेड सल्फ्यूरिक एसिड वी विल बी ऑप्टेनिंग द ओलियम ओके ना एंड इन द नेक्स्ट स्टेप Uh, the water will be added into this oleum to make the S2SO4. Okay. Now, why we are not using the, why we are not absorbing the sulfur trioxide into water? As we know that if we combine the sulfur trioxide into water, we will be having the sulfuric acid. Okay. Because why? So let let us see that if we are going to absorb the sulfuric, uh, the, the sulfur trioxide into the water, so it will produce what large amount of energy first thing and forms dense fog of the h2so4 dense fog of the h2so4 will be formed which which cannot be easily condensed when it is absorbed in the water okay na so if we, if you will uh, if we are going to absorb the sulfur di sulfur trioxide into the water so a dense fog will be formed which will not be easily con condensed okay therefore firstly we absorb the sulfur trioxide into concentrated sulfuric acid and then we will add the water into this mixture okay na now therefore sulf uh, so3 is absorbed in concentrated sulfuric acid forming as to s2o7 h2s2o7 this is a oleum actually this is the formula of the oleum you can try on writing your copy uh, s2so4 plus so3 the formula will be h2s2o7 which is called as the oleum or fuming sulfuric acid oleum is also known as the fuming sulfuric acid okay this is done in the absorption tower where concentrated h2so4 is sprayed downward on the so3 gas okay now so this will be done in the absorption tower clear okay so you can see uh, the reaction here uh, h2so4 is going to combine with sulfur trioxide to form the h h2s2o7 okay this is the um, absorption of this uh, sulfur trioxide into the concentrated sulfuric acid after this we we are having the uh, dilution of the oleum okay so you know that after the formation of the oleum we will add some uh, calculated amount of the water into this oleum to obtain the sulfuric acid in the preferred uh, in the desired concentration okay we will add the water now into this oleum okay so we will be having um, sulfuric acid and we can obtain the 98% sulfuric acid by using this method okay now then method to uh, dilute the concentrated sulfuric acid how the con how the concentrated uh, sulfuric acid should be diluted so uh, the concentrated sulfuric acid should be uh, added to the water drop by drop okay means acid will be added to the water not water to the acid okay because if you will add the acid into water so it will be firstly goes down at bottom therefore no splices will be there or you can say less splices will be there or you can say less spurting will be there okay so if you are adding the acid into water so since the uh, density of the sulfuric acid is heavier than the uh, water so sulfuric acid go uh, towards the bottom okay so splicing will be not there but if you are adding the uh, water into concentrated sulfuric acid so water will be floating at the upper layer and it will uh, making the splices and spurting okay so make sure that when uh, whenever you are going to dilute the uh, sulfuric acid you will be adding the sulfuric acid drop by drop into the water okay so this was now we are having the Uh, the constant boiling mixture sulfuric acid makes the constant boiling mixture at the concentration of what 98.5 degrees celsius okay and the boiling point will be 338 degrees celsius okay so this is the uh, preparation of the sulfuric acid by 
जनरल लैब मेथड एंड दी कॉन्टेक्ट मेथड बोथ ओके नाउ इफ आई टॉक अबाउट दी फिजिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ द सल्फ्यूरिक एसिड सो लेट एस सी दी फिजिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ द सल्फ्यूरिक एसिड सो फर्स्ट पॉइंट इज देयर इट इज वॉट कलरलेस कलरलेस ऑर्डरलेस डेंस ऑयली लिक्विड राइट ना कलरलेस ऑर्डरलेस डेंस ऑयली लिक्विड सेकेंड पॉइंट इज देस स्लाइट सार्ट इज सिंस यू नो दिस इज एसिड सो ऑब्वियस ऑब्वियसली इट विल बी हैविंग अ सार्ट टेस्ट एंड हाइग्रोस्कोपिक एंड डिहाइड्रेटिंग हाइग्रोस्कोपिक मीन्स द सब्सटेंस विच कैन एब्जॉर्ब द मॉइस्चर एंड डिहाइड्रेटिंग मीन्स वॉट द सब्सटेंस विच विल एक्सट्रैक्ट एक्सट्रैक्ट द हाइड्रोजन एंड ऑक्सीजन प्रेजेंट इन द सब्सटेंस ओके सो इट एक्ट्स एज बोथ हाइग्रोस्कोपिक एज वेल एज डिहाइड्रेटिंग एजेंट इन नेचर ओके हैवियर देन वाटर ओके द स्पेसिफिक ग्रेविटी इज वन पॉइंट एट फाइव एंड सॉलेबल इन ऑल प्रपोर्सन यू कैन यू कैन सी हियर द सल्फ्यूरिक एसिड इज कम्प्लीटली सॉल्व इन वाटर ओके देन द नेक्स्ट पॉइंट इज देयर कलर लेस क्रिस्टलाइन इन सॉलिड स्टेट वे इफ यू आर मेकिंग इट सॉलिड सो इट विल बी अपीरेंस ऑफ द कलर लेस एंड इट विल बी क्रिस्टलाइन ओके इन प्योर स्टेट ऑलमोस्ट नॉन कंडक्टर बट इन डायल्यूट इट इज अ गुड कंडक्टर ऑफ द इलेक्ट्रिसिटी ओके सो दीज आर द फिजिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ द सल्फ्यूरिक एसिड नाउ कमिंग टू द केमिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ सल्फ्यूरिक एसिड ओके means chemical reactions so chemical if we are going to the chemical reaction it can be studied into three categories first category as an acid second as an oxidizing agent and third as a dehydrating agent okay so coming to the first category that is as an acid so you know that sulfuric acid is a di basic acid okay means one molecule of the sulfuric acid can furnish two proton therefore it is a di basic acid okay so here you can see that it is a di basic acid by using these reactions that sulfuric acid firstly uh, produces one hydronium ion and then again produces one hydronium ion therefore uh, it can be told that it is a di basic acid okay uh, so uh, it reacts uh, with the other metals and bases and all other things okay so let us let us come to the general reactions of the dilute acid okay so these are the general reactions of the dilute uh, acid sulfuric acid okay these reactions will be as per the previous reactions in other uh, acids normal acids uh, hcl and uh, other acids so firstly if we are going to react the Uh, dilute sulfuric acid with what active metal then we will be having what salt and hydrogen gas but if we are going to react the um, base in base you can take the oxide as well as hydroxide okay so with base it will give what salt plus water as all acids gives है ना एंड देन कार्बोनेट एंड बाई कार्बोनेट विल गिव वॉट सॉल्ट प्लस वाटर प्लस कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड इफ यू डू द रिएक्शन विद सल्फाइट और बाई सल्फाइट देन यू विल ऑप्टेन वॉट सॉल्ट प्लस वाटर प्लस सल्फर डाइऑक्साइड विथ सल्फाइड सल्फाइड मीन्स वॉट हाइड्रोजन सोडियम सल्फाइड आयरन सल्फाइड एक्सेट्रा यू विल बी हैविंग सॉल्ट प्लस हाइड्रोजन गैस and salt of volatile acid salt of volatile acid will be giving what acidic salt plus volatile acid okay na so salt of volatile acid will produce the acidic salt plus volatile acid so uh, we must have some examples of the salt of the volatile acid okay na so if i write here sodium nitrate hai na sodium nitrate nano3 nano3 so nano3 is the salt of the uh, volatile acid because nitric acid is what it is the uh, volatile acid so if we replace the hydrogen from the nitric acid by using any metal so it will be a salt of volatile acid so these are some general reactions of the sulfuric acid you must learn these reactions okay then sulfuric acid as an oxidizing agent sulfuric acid as an oxidizing agent so on thermal decomposition when it get decomposed thermally it produces what uh, nascent oxygen 
it produces nascent oxygen therefore it acts as a uh, oxidizing agent so sulfuric acid gives water plus sulfur dioxide plus nascent oxygen therefore it is called as the oxidizing agent okay then you can see here the examples how it is going on so you can see the sulfuric acid is uh, getting um, broken into the water plus so2 plus nascent oxygen now this nascent oxygen is uh, going to oxidize the copper into copper oxide then again copper oxide is reacting with sulfuric acid to form copper sulfate and water because you know copper oxide is a basic oxide so obviously it will react with sulfuric acid to produce the copper oxide uh, copper sulfide uh, sulfate and water okay so this is the final equation when copper react with the concentrated sulfuric acid now you can see the reactions of sulfuric acid with some non metals also and some metals also okay so carbon is going to be oxidized into carbon dioxide here you can see uh, that carbon is going to be oxidized into the carbon dioxide okay and the rest of water and sulfur dioxide are produced sulfur is going to be oxidized into sulfur dioxide phosphorus is going to the phosphoric acid so you must learn you must practice these equations okay and the zinc react with sulfuric acid to form what zinc sulfate plus water plus sulfur dioxide and the hi is being converted into iodine and sulfur dioxide okay so these are some uh, reactions that you must learn about the sulfuric acid and then you can you can see here uh, h2s is also uh, getting converted into the sulfur and h2o and so2 okay then the reaction is based on the sulfuric acid as a strong dehydrating agent so you can see here you know that the sulfuric acid extract the hydrogen and oxygen present in any substance therefore it is called as the strong dehydrating agent so it removes the it removes the hydrogen oxygen from the carbohydrate organic compound etc it removes water of crystallization from the salts okay it also acts as dehydrating agent and removes the moisture from different substances example n2o2 so2 hcl etc okay this is into n2 comma o2 that is nitrogen and oxygen okay now you can see some examples here okay you can see here glucose okay it react with glucose so it convert the glucose into carbon and water so cruise carbon and water okay if you add some amount of the concentrated sulfuric acid into the sucrose then it will be converted into black colored substance and steam will be evolved this process is called as the charring okay so charring of the uh, sugar is there the production of the carbon and the evolution of the uh, steam it will be called as char charring